the student safety and health is our number one concern. And that concern directly tied to extreme heat in early fall in West Michigan. Superintendent Jeff Haas School District lucky enough to have air conditioning throughout their buildings. Others are not so fortunate. When the heat be, gets into the 90s and low 100s, you have to think about those things and uh, students sitting in classrooms and even staff sitting in classrooms where that he heat index can be over 100. Though steamy temps forcing several schools like Comstock Public Schools, Climax Scotts and Gull Lake Community Schools to let their students out early Monday. Other school districts simply adjusting their schedules. We did um, some limited time outside this morning while it's still not quite so high out and this afternoon we're going to have a lot of fun with all of these new toys and we might stay in just a little bit more today than we would. Like the Goddard School, Otsego has AC and they too adjusted their schedules, telling elementary school principals to let the kids play outside for recess for only 10 to 15 minutes. They are doing a tremendous job of making sure students are hydrated and uh, when they come back in or even before they go out. They've also had to make adjustments to other outdoor activities. Their cross-country team moving practice to the morning and last Friday the school pushed the start of their football game back 30 minutes. We have uh, turf in our stadium and obviously the heat index uh, was very high during the day. Uh, and so we wanted to wait until the sun went down. Other school districts made the same decision with their games last week and some even moving athletic events indoors this week. Haas says he's grateful for the AC in Otsego, but his heart goes out to the other school districts. And so I, f I feel their pain, I really do, um, and I feel what they're going through. In Otsego, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News.